Hi guys, uh, Steve from Geotargeting Sniper here, and uh, I want to talk to you about a uh, hidden advantage I think you can have in geotargeting online advertising campaigns like Google AdWords or uh, Microsoft Ad Center or Banner Networks um, or uh, mobile ad networks. Um, basically, let's say I'm uh, uh, I want to target the Tampa area and um, I've got a business in Tampa. Um, I've done I've looked at so many campaigns that basically they go, okay, well, uh, do you want to target Tampa? And you you click, yeah, you know, I want Tampa, St. Petersburg, Sarasota is is like a standard area in uh, in Google AdWords that it will uh, try to make you target. Um, and let's say you're you're you're, you're going to pay a dollar fifty a click. Well, guess what? If you're doing that. What's happening is um, this, some guy is seeing your ads who lives in the beach area of St. Petersburg where the houses are worth more than a million dollars each and he makes more than he or she makes more than $150,000 a year. Um, you're going to pay $1.50 for that click. You're also going to pay $1.50 for that click by a working family in Pinellas Park which makes it's a it's a working class area probably I'd say the average income is maybe thirty thousand dollars a year um, and you're paying the same amount for both clicks as you are for uh, showing your ads to a uh, insurance skyscraper right in downtown Tampa uh, to uh, really poor areas uh, next to it um, to the uh, pretty rich suburbs in Brandon, you know, um, because I live in this area, I know a little bit about uh, about them, but I still don't know which zip code has what income or what ethnicity um, or what uh, um, uh, you know how much the the home values are worth in all of these uh, zip codes. But with with geotargeting sniper now you can uh, now you can you can do that. So. Um, I put this together for uh, for my own use for um, to give myself kind of a hidden advantage in uh, Google uh, AdWords campaigns primarily, but I've started using it for other places. Um, it works also for direct mail if you've got a list of people, um, you know, maybe you have a supposed buyers list in direct mail, you can take this data and uh, filter uh, uh, just to make sure that you've got the the zip codes that that have people that match your demographic uh, profile, or if you're doing stuff just by the zip code, which can be done in direct mail also, at least you can make sure you're picking the very best zip codes for uh, for what you're doing. So um, I'm not going to go into all the database. There's over 42,000 records of all kinds. These are all <laughs> these columns. I think it's 53 different columns of of different different data. And so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go totally in, into uh, into all of that. Um, just for the heck of it, let's just uh, 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 you can click on any of these things and um, sort the data by anything that you want. Um, Ooh, let's go. Let's sort this by salaries and wages in adjusted gross income. That this uh, that part of the database you can kind of tell came from uh, an IRS. Uh, yeah, <laughs> some IRS stuff. So here's a zip code here uh, that the average uh, salaries and wages is five million dollars. So here, here <laughs> uh, these are you know super zips, right? Okay, not surprisingly. Uh, you know, a lot of people, you know, these are the penthouses of New York. Uh, so if you want to target the 1%, <laughs> here's how to do it in a couple easy steps. Um, and you can, uh, you, you can sort by any column any way that you want. And now let's say you want to, uh, uh, I, I put a couple filters here just for the heck of it. Let's take the average house value is greater than 200000 um, and let's say they paid more than fifty thousand uh, a year in real estate taxes. So boom, that takes me down to two thousand records. Um, boom, I just hit this and I go, all right, I just want those two thousand zips. Boom, and now I've got that. It exports it as a CSV file. 
um, which is comma separated values which can easily be opened by Excel or a free program called OpenOffice or you can import it into a database and let's say you want to do a little more analysis of these 2000 zip codes you just click this and now it exports all the columns so that you can take that into Excel import it into a database do a bunch more analysis and let's say if these 50 columns are just too much for you. Well, you click this thing and you can just go, all right, I'm going to, I want to take all of these. I want to just get rid of these. You click remove and then you don't have to look at, at all of that, uh, all of, all of those columns. If, if, if it's too confusing for you and you just want to look at a couple different things. So there's a lot of ways to, uh, um, uh, to, to sort through, uh, you've got ethnicity, you've got income factors, you've got um, all kinds of different uh, uh, things, uh, area codes, cities, states, um, age, sex, <laughs> percentages, you know, um, so there's, the, uh, you even have uh, how much in uh, how much income came from uh, pensions and stuff like that you know <laughs> so if you want to target you know retirement areas versus uh, working family type areas you can do all that stuff so um, I know there's probably going to be more questions but I just wanted to just give you like the overview of what it does and why and uh, and I'll see you on the other side at geotargetingsniper.com